welcome to SQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, select query uh, with a concast tension as well as uh, literals that is uh, strings you can pass in select queries. So if you are talking about if you have a requirement to concatenate uh, multiple columns data, so we can use a concatenation operator that is called two pipe symbols. Here you can see in the screen we can use this. And the result uh, when you're talking about that will be concatenated for all the rows, whichever uh, you are doing that particular columns, that will be done for entire rows in the table. Then let's see the one example here. I have employee table. So here I have a first name, last name. I want to return uh, both in single column. So first name. Concatenation symbol, two pipe symbols, then last name. See here, it is returning both. It is concatenating both columns data. But uh, here uh, we can't find any space here in between first name, last name. So what we can do, we can use a single quotes. We can use a single quotes to give some space that is a character. Okay, so that we will call as literals. Okay, so when you are passing any characters uh, in between your columns so we can use a single quote we can use a single quote in select statement for date and uh, character strings that is uh, date and character strings we can use a single quote for numbers it is not required so as i explained so the data whatever you are uh, passing input here so that will be added for all records that all rows it will be appended for that appended means concatenated let's see the output single quote space again concatenation now you can see the space has been added for entire records okay now same thing we can go for see here i have a uh, employees with the job so i want to display their employee names with the jobs okay so here what I am doing again I am concatenating here with a single quote my job as job ID. See here this is my string. So here I, again I am giving some space before starting this. So now you can you could see the first name last name with the my job is and uh, again I am giving space here. I could see the difference completely. You can use any string in, in between this. So all jobs we are displaying and we are displaying some text that is we are string we are displaying. So for strings and dates we can use this single code. For numbers directly we can add like employee id. See, this is my all employee IDs in this table. So directly you can use that without single quotes. I am adding a 55. Now you could see this 55 has been added for all the records. So you have to remember one thing. So whenever you are adding some value in a select statement, that will be appended for entire rows, entire rows which is available in your table. Then if you have a requirement to pass single quotes inside your string for, for example it's my job i'm giving here so again i'm giving inside text i'm giving one more single quote so i want to display my text like this okay so i want to give like this so here i want to uh, my output i need to display as a single quote so what is considering here, this is considering one string and uh, it is ignoring why because it is not starting any uh, single quotes. Again from here it is considering one more string. So for that we can go for additional thing that is called alternative quote. So Q is an operator, we can concatenate any type of string, whichever you have a requirement, any delimiter you can use. And that operator is called Q. That operator is called Q. You can verify here. You can see. So mainly we are using this for providing our input string for user understandable language because 
when you are talking about your requirements, maybe if you are working any reporting tool or if you are working any normal applications, if you want to convert your data and that data you want to display some application with the client readable format, client readable format, that users readable format. So increasing the readability and usability. So that's a part of here we have operator called Q. Let's verify this how we can write this. Same thing. So before that I'm writing uh, additional character Q. Then again I'm opening and closing this. Now you can see. See this entire thing it is considered as a string now. Okay. So in between that you can pass anything. This is my string. Now if you run this, now you could see the output. It's my job. Okay. So like this we can go for displaying some text, displaying some text with your requirement. Based on your requirement you can say that is Q, operator Q for coding. So this is the basic things uh, when you're talking about writing your SQL queries, you should know about this. Alias names I have already covered in previous session. Then if you're talking about uh, duplicate rows while displaying, if you want to eliminate duplicate rows. I'm not uh, removing any data from database, only for di while displaying I want to ignore duplicate records. For example, here I have a job ID from employee table. So because I can see that most of the uh, job IDs is duplicate why? because uh, multiple employees will be there in a particular uh, job. So that's the reason you could, could find uh, multiple uh, rows here. So if you want to display only unique records from this. So currently it is available all rows. You can see 107. Then we can use a distinct keyword. Distinct keyword is mainly we are using for to eliminate uh, duplicate rules while displaying the data. So only while displaying the data. So while fetching the data from database, it will fetch all the data. In Oracle sorting area, what this distinct will do? In sorting area, it will identify and it will remove the duplicates and it will display only unique records. But it is not deleting any data from your database. So as I told, select is a statement we are using for only read only read only remember that then this distinct keyword you can use after select class that is select keyword you can say then before columns for example if i want to use somewhere in between that for example employee id comma distinct job id so this won't accept why because this should be before starting your columns distinct always should be before starting your columns like this we can go for using distinct to eliminate duplicate records so but one thing when you are you are have a huge queries if you want to use distinct obviously it will impact your performance because it will take more time while sorting your huge amount of data to eliminate again uh, duplicate rows so remember that and uh, verify that cost query and use that distinct if you have a requirement to use that okay so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much